To you all, my lovers, this is our dear fake question. The BQ RS B4 points in space satisfying. BQ vector is magnitude 3. U R vector of magnitude 7. RS vector of magnitude 11. And SV vector of magnitude 9. We are asking us to find the value of PS vector dot QR vector dot product divided by 9. Interestingly, by looking at four points in space, everyone is going to think BQRS is a quadrilateral. Yes, maybe. And finding PS dot QR, if it's going to be a quadrilateral, if you have to find PS dot QR, just imagine what's going to happen. PQ, that's a shorter blend. All the QR is a little bigger. And RS is also bigger. This will be the situation we will be facing with. But without knowing the angle between PS and QR, like which we might be able to find, try to find by extending PS and QR and making them meet at an angle. But still, for this also, we do not have the necessary amount of information to find out the angle. So the thought process comes, is it really a quadrilateral? Because the question mentioned only, PQRs are four points in space satisfying this information. So now I try to understand the numbers given. The numbers are 3, 7, 11, and 9. If we have a close look, you understand these numbers have a very nice significance. The significance is 3 square plus 11 square is equal to 9 square plus 7 square. Both are adding up to 130. I'm trying to utilize this idea here. So, our close look students. So, I'm keeping this as my SR and RS. Or by you are, I was told R to S vector. The length of this is 11 units. And Q R vector, U to R. The length is 7 units. And now, I join this US. This point B, if it is not lying on this line QS, then when we acquire it this form, imagine if it is here, on this line QS. So we already know what is the length of PQ vector. The length of PQ vector being 3 units. All right, people? And the SP vector length has to be the SP vector length is 9 units. Now it's not a quadrilateral at all, it is just a triangle. And this information which I said, sum of square of 3 and 11 and sum of square of 9 and 7 being same, that would be happening with by joining RP, considering if there is a right angle between them. I do not know the length of RP, whatever it is, this information, this numeric part is matching here. You can notice that 11 square plus 7 square is equal to 8 square plus 3 square. And the other side triangle 11 square is equal to 8 square plus 9 square. If I add the equations, I get back this information. 130 is equal to 130. So this diagram is right to assume PQRS has four points in space, satisfying this magnitude of PQ vector, QR vector, RS vector, and SP vector. So finally, I'm coming to the conclusion, PS vector dot QS vector dot product. I'm going to calculate now. So for dot product definition, we all know there is nothing but modulus of PS vector multiplied by modulus of QR vector into cos of angle between them. So PS vector is this, and QR vector is this. So the extended PS vector, making an angle with QR vector, let me call this as theta. So since it's a right angle triangle, I can say cos theta 
is going to be equal to adjacent by hypotenuse. There's nothing but 3 by 7. PS vector magnitude is given to us already, 9. Your vector magnitude is also given to us, which is 7. So after cancellation, we have 9 into 3, which is 27. But the question was to find PS vector dot Q vector divided by 9. The final answer happens to be 27 divided by 9. So the choice shot K become 3. Okay, enjoy this question. Come and fall in math, fall in love with math, subscribers.